Hi, I'm Robert Jenner. So I'm a, a former sports student. Um, I engaged in a, a college course uh, in order to eventually become a nurse. Um, that was in 2006. Um, so it actually took me five years to, to complete that. Um, and the reason it took me five years was because for the, for the initial course that I enrolled in, I then found out that I had dyslexia. Um, and I get support for that. But it meant I had to do an extra year at college um, before I eventually got to uni. Um, and actually, I, I wouldn't have got to uni without the Scottish Wider Access Programme. Um, that actually gave me the ability to get into, into university without all these formal qualifications, which I never managed to get as a result of my dyslexia. Um, so for me, you know, uh, the Scottish Wider Access Programme is invaluable. So as we're thinking about having a, a, a specific learning difficulty, which is, you know, dyslexia, um, how did I not know that before I went back to, uh, before I went to college? Um, obviously I knew that I had difficulty with reading and writing, um, but I didn't engage in that, so that, you know, the, the work that I would do would be manual work. Um, I trained as a painter, um, which made it easy because I, I then didn't have to worry about um, engaging in reading and writing, really. But of course, um, when I found out that I had dyslexia, we were getting a, an, an assessment. Um, that then made sense of everything that I'd struggled with before, because um, school for me was a nightmare. You know, I was branded as useless and, uh, and uneducable was, was one of the terms. But in actual fact, you know, I've proved them wrong because I managed to get my degree. Um, so I'm no thick and I'm no daft. Um, but the, the thing for me, finding out that I had dyslexia was very positive because it's that idea that, you know, if you, if you have a problem and you know what the problem is, then you can apply a solution. Um, and that, through a lot of hard work, um, helped me look at, you know, coping strategies and learning strategies, learning how to learn. But that in itself meant I had to ask for help. Um, as you go through your college course, you're more likely going to be moving on to um, higher education, i.e. going to university. So um, the, the SWAP course has what's called PrEP for HE, um, and you can access that through the SWAP site. Um, that in itself, there's a, there's a program and you, you can download a workbook um, which gives you practical information on how you can actually prepare for moving on to, to university study. Because you're going to find that universities is quite different for, for college. Um, college, there's a lot of support network around about you, um, whereas when you go to university, um, you're expected to go and do these things yourself. Um, and the Prep for HE course really helps in, in thinking your, changing your thinking around about how they actually do this myself. If you're, if you're at college and you think that you're struggling, um, you know, what, what you, we tend to do is, we, we tend to tell ourselves, I can't do this, I'm no good at this. Um, and I've personal experience of actually doing that myself. Um, and I struggled in the, the initial course that I, that I enrolled in. But that in itself, as is, is, you know, I explained, is talking about getting support and asking for support. Um, and that's really crucial, because sometimes we think, um, I know, I need to struggle on and I need to soldier on myself. Um, but you don't, you can get support. And it's also that negative thinking about, I'm useless and I can't do this and this is too hard. You need to remember that your colleagues are probably thinking the same thing in the class, but they're maybe no voice in that. Or if they are voicing it, they're not telling you the whole truth. Um, and again, experiencing that myself, I'm thinking that my colleagues are telling me that they were struggling, but I was struggling even more as a result of my dyslexia. Um, but asking for help. And it's also when you're starting to find the solutions and how to get overcome what you think are the barriers, it's important to have that positive mental attitude that you know you've maybe heard mentioned before. And the positive is actually working with yourself and thinking, do you know what? I can do this and I'm lucky enough. Um, and having that mental resolve to just keep on keeping on. Um, and even if it is only one subject at a time, one hour at a time when you're in college, um, if that's what gets you through the day, then it gets you through the day. But again, it's important to be talking, 
talking to the lecturers or talking to the support network that you have, whether that be friends or family, because um, it's it's really important to get that worry and stress off your chest. Um, but you can do it. I know you can do it because if I can do it, anybody can do it. 